What is going on? This is Emre833 on behalf of Beyond Gaming 03. The day has finally come. I've got my hands on the Nintendo Switch Pro Controller here. Besides the kind of hefty price tag, the kind of steep price tag, it is still a great controller. Um, I have used it over the weekend. I picked it up last uh, Thursday, uh, this past Thursday, sorry. And I definitely want to say that this is probably my favorite controller besides the Xbox One controller. I'm going to tell you why. Um, first of all, this controller feels really great in the hand. Um, it feels awesome. The buttons are nice and big on there. You can see those. Um, they're definitely easy to use compared to the, uh, the grip. Um, it's got the HD rumble built in. It's got the NFC reader on the right analog here for you. So you can take your Amiibos and scan them on there. Um, it's also got a 40 hour battery life, which is impressive compared to any other controller I know of, including the PS4 controller, obviously. Um, you know, the controller is really great. It's very sleek looking. It's a nice design, as you can see there. Um, it's got, you know, kind of like a see-through look through it, so you can kind of see inside. And Easter egg that was put in by Nintendo is that if you actually, on the right analog, if you move it down and you look in the back there, inside the controller, if you look under the direct light, there is a little, there's a little note in there that says, I believe it says, um, you know, thanks all gamers. I believe so, like hashtag or something like that. I can't remember here. Um, but it looks pretty cool when you actually look inside there. But otherwise, you know, it's got a nice D-pad on it. Um, I use that quite a bit. Um, for me, I use it on, recently here anyways, on King of Fires 98. I've been playing that for quite a while now. I use it for some Zelda. And I have to agree with everybody online when they say that the Pro, the Pro Controller is the way to go. This controller is very good, very accurate. I have not had any issues with it so far. Um, again, the price tag on it is 70 bucks. You know, it's not horrible, but again, it's everything that you get included. I mean, you, like I said, you get the battery life. If it wasn't for that, if it wasn't for the bigger buttons, you know, if it wasn't for the fact that it has an NFC reader, um, as well as the rumble, it's got the motion control too. I forgot to mention that. So like when you're playing a game like Zelda and you're going to shoot your uh, bow and arrow, uh, you can actually use the controller like you would with the, with the game pad to aim as well as in Splatoon 2. I wish I would have had this for the test fire. But yeah, again, 70 bucks. I think it's a great controller. I'm going to quickly compare it here to one of the Xbox One controllers. This is the Xbox One controller. And this is the Switch controller, the Switch Pro controller. As you can see, I mean, it definitely looks um, quite similar as far as the layout goes. Um, they both fill Pretty uh, similar as well too. In my personal opinion, I think that the Xbox One controller is still, besides the 3.6 controller, is still one of my favorite controllers. But this one's up there at a close second. So, I mean, it's definitely a great controller. And here it is compared to the, the Switch grip here, controller. So again, I know it's hard to see this one, but here's the, the grip. It's definitely, the grip is further apart. Of course, you got the smaller buttons. Um, the grip's a little bit smaller, so I always felt like my hands were really crammed. And of course, the buttons are, are really tiny. I mean, really small compared to what you're looking at with the, the Pro Controller. Nice big buttons here, definitely help out. Again though, this controller is probably one of my favorite controllers as of right now. I really enjoy it. I recommend it here to anybody who is a hardcore gamer wants to play Zelda and not have to use the grip or doesn't want to play on handheld. Also for games like Splatoon and I imagine games like uh, Smash Brothers can be coming out in Mario Kart as well too. So I definitely give this controller a 10 out of 10. It's a great controller. I recommend picking it up.